The Kaiser Family Foundation is out with a new survey looking at the lives and attitudes of New Orleans residents. This comes five years after Hurricane Katrina and in the wake of the Gulf oil spill. I'm here with the Kaiser Family Foundation's Claudia Dean. Claudia, tell me, what is the most encouraging statistic that you found in this survey? I think the thing that speaks most to the optimism of people there is really the percent who say that the recovery and rebuilding process is going in the right direction because that's the key action that's trying to make the city you know, become what it was before and hopefully even better, they say. And what we found is that um, in 2008, so two years ago, 56% of the folks there said they thought that the recovery was going in the right direction, and that's jumped to 70%. So that's a lot of agreement on a really central part of what's going on in New Orleans. Now, is this cause for optimism? Is this a trend that you think you will continue to see moving upward in following surveys? Well, I mean, the good thing is, the reason I think that we are seeing a trend towards optimism, and again, you can't control what happens. I mean, the oil spill showed that, but across a number of measures, we're finding more people saying that uh, New Orleans is a good place to raise children. We're, f we're finding more people saying that they personally feel recovered from the storm, their day-to-day -day lives are back to normal. So I'd say to that extent, you know, these numbers have been moving now uh, over a five-year period. We've measured them at three times, and they, they continue to move upward. So that's a good basis for optimism. So that's the good news and the bad news. What are New Orleans right. residents' greatest concerns now? Well, when you ask people what's on their mind, the biggest problem facing the city itself, um, overwhelmingly it's crime. And in a time of a real economic recession nationally, uh, you can imagine that seeing crime jump up that high is sort of unusual for us who do survey research. So um, that shows up in a lot of places. There's a lot of mistrust of the police. Um, there's even mistrust of political leaders to the extent that they're worried about political corruption. So there are real safety concerns there. And as for the Gulf oil spill, how do New Orleans residents feel that will affect them as opposed to Katrina? Well, when we were in the field, it was during that time period when we didn't really know what was going to happen. We knew something bad was going on. A lot of oil was coming out, didn't know if it was going to be capped or not. So it's really a snapshot in time. But at that time, people were really concerned about the local environment and about the local economy. Um, what, was, what was it going to do to jobs, people in the seafood industry and the oil industry? Um, so you saw a lot of concern about that. It also, uh, it was interesting, we asked people, which do you think is going to, over the long term, cause more trouble, Katrina or the Gulf oil spill? And actually more people in New Orleans said the Gulf oil spill, even than Katrina. Now there is a racial and a financial divide in New Orleans that you yeah. can see pretty clearly. Where did you see that illustrated most in your statistics? Well, in New Orleans, like in many of the big cities around the country, you see race and class sort of overlapping, overlying each other. Um, so, you know, starting from the very beginning when you look at income, inc uh, New Orleans is a disproportionately poor city, and when you look at the percentage of people who are living sort of in low-income households, it's much, much higher. It's roughly 6 in 10 among African-American households and much, much lower among white households. So you begin there. Um, and then you see other just racial differences in worries. You see African-American parents much more worried about their children's education and the schools they're able to go to. You see a lot of concern um, just about neighborhood rebuilding is different, and you just see a lot um, more anxiety about the level to which the city's recovered in the black community than you do among in the white community. So what's a final takeaway you would really love for people to be paying attention to as this survey is released? Well, I think for folks who are not in New Orleans um, and can't see what's going on there, I think it's difficult to imagine until you hear the sort of the voices reflected through these numbers, the extent to which people feel like they haven't recovered. So even um, a third of the folks there still say their day-to-day -day lives aren't back to normal, even though the storm was five years ago. Most people say the city's not recovered, and most people feel somewhat forgotten by the country. So I think to the extent that people can show their interest and attention, to the extent the news media can continue to focus on the rebuilding there, to the extent people can travel there and visit, um, that would probably be the message the city might like folks to hear. Well, thank you very much, Claudia. This is a survey people are going to be paying attention to. Mm -hmm.